With the rapid growth of social media, it's now becoming easier for fans to be able to engage with their favorite athletes. One athlete who's taking full advantage of this opportunity is Tulane's very own Stefan Alamese. The shortstop chose to come to Tulane after attending prep school in Florida. As a freshman, he started 47 out of 48 games, and as a sophomore, he started all 60 in the shortstop position. He's won various awards in his two years with the Wave, and last season, he even helped lead his team to the postseason for the first time since 2008. Although there's a lot of glory for the infielder now, it's come from a blue-collar work ethic. Steph is, uh, works really hard, and I mean, he's got, he's got natural talent, and um, it only builds off of his work, work ethic, and I think that he, uh, he deserves to be where he is, and he's just worked really hard for it. Coming from where he lives in the Bronx, um, not a lot of people, Baseball is not the biggest sport, um, basketball probably is, so being a baseball player that's seen the success he has is kind of unique. It's no coincidence all the success he's seen on the field. It's definitely a result of how often he's in the cages, on the field, in the weight room. My dad played football. He never played an inning of baseball, which is ironic because everyone thinks that I've, I'm playing baseball, so my dad grew up playing baseball, especially right. come from a Dominican house, uh, household where that's the sport in the Dominican Republic. Um, my dad played football and basketball. And you know everything is so big on basketball in New York City that that the, the emphasis is on basketball. Um, but there's also a lot of talent, a lot of hidden talent in, in New York, especially the Bronx, Washington Heights, where a lot of these kids play baseball. They just don't have the education to go to take it to, to further. Alamaze's family, friends, coaches, and teammates were not the only ones noticing all of the hard work that he was putting into baseball. He explained his sophomore year in high school, his name started being thrown out there, and people in his community started to notice it as well. Dad owned a, a baseball facility, still owns a baseball facility in, in New York, it's a batting cage. And a lot of kids were coming there just to, to watch me hit or, or watch me and my dad work out. And it was just like, like I, it was kind of overwhelming because I wasn't, I wasn't used to it. And then I started getting a lot of following, a lot of people following me like a fan base. And, and not that I have the biggest band fan base, but it's just still cool if, you know, people just asking me for advice and they would go there and, and want to hit to me. And, and that alone was, was awesome for me. Now, Alamace gets fan mail weekly and makes sure he always replies to show his gratitude and try and help out whoever he can. Most of it is just kids asking me for advice. Um, a lot of kids from where I'm from um, asking me, how, how did I get to a D1 school? How do you, you know, trying to help them through the process. He serves just as an inspiration to the kids that want to follow in a similar path that he does, um, especially the kids that dream of playing baseball when they get older. The coolest thing that's ever happened to me was some kid dressed up as me for Halloween. It was all over Twitter, and I, and I think that was just, that was amazing on its own because I never really had anyone want to be like me. Yeah, you had mentioned that some people kind of saw it in high school as almost like being cocky. You had told me that before. Yeah, I mean, pe some people sometimes got bad impression where, where it was like, oh, he's showing off, you know, because I would post um, letters I got from kids all the time, and it was just, it's not mostly more of a showing off. It was more like, you know, it was, I just couldn't believe that, that people actually looked up to me. And, and it was just, I, it was inspiring me to be a better player, to be a better person, because I was helping them out. As a junior, Alamace is more than thankful for everyone who has supported him and doesn't want to let any of those people down. Whenever I feel, you know, lack of motivation or anything, I'll just, I'll probably go on my Instagram and, and look at a, a letter some kid wrote me or, you know, um, just try to try to find any motivation to keep working harder. You could say that all of Alamace's hard work is paying off, and for that, he is more than appreciative of his loved ones, teammates and coaches, and his fans for being there for him during this process. I'm Amy Lansky with Tulane Athletics.